Hi all, so hopefully it's going to like, you'll have to excuse what I'm wearing, it's too hot to wear anything sensible, so this is as far as we're getting, dude. <laughs> so, none of my nice tops are going on. Anyway, so anyway, today I actually have um, a product video to do for you, and I got contacted by two hands to test out these pens. Hopefully you can see them, it's not too reflective. So these are black pigment liner set, non-toxic, water-based, waterproof, fast drying, non-smear. And I have been testing them out. Um, I've got some which I'll show you in a minute down on my pad. But I'm also going to do some drawing with them so you can see. But there's good size range in them. Because we've got a 005, a 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, um, 08, and then a 10, a 20, a 30, and a brush. So you can see on the back there, hopefully if the camera starts reflecting it too much, um, you can see all the different sizes on it. And they're all listed also on the front, so you can actually keep them... Um, pop up. So about the reflection, it's my laptop I'm filming on. There's so much I can do. <laughs> um, but they're actually really nice pens. I've actually been quite impressed. Um, I'll show you in a second. But the pad that I've been drawing these on is just my random test owl things pad. It's many, many years old. And there's loads of random stuff in here. But most of the time when I've done my little doodles with pens, it's actually bled through to the other side. But these ones don't seem to have done that, which really surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, and I've been drawing um, and thick colouring, which you've seen me, and there's no marks on my hands, which I often get, and there's no smudges either. So this is only one type of paper. I haven't tried them on other paper. I will do more videos at some point doing lots of my little doodles, and you'll be able to see how they work on other paper. But for this paper, I've actually had a really good experience with them. I got sent them for free, but this is still a non-biased um, thing. I can say whatever I want, my opinion of them. And to be fair, I'm quite impressed with them. So as I said, they are called Two Hands. Um, and they're really nice. And they come off Amazon. And they've actually really nicely gave me a discount code for you guys as well. So that will be down in the description. And it's I think it's a 20% discount. <coughs> Sorry, it's 15 to, 15 to 20 percent. I think it's 15, I think it's 20 percent discount. Um, sorry, just got <coughs> some things never change. Um, my cough asthma still acts up when I um talk, so always got my fluids with me. I used to cut it out of the videos, but I'm not doing that anymore because. It's too much work. And uh, most of you know from now from me doing my lives, so I'm always having to have a drink, so if you don't matter. But anyway, as I was saying, so these are on Amazon and they're really good price. They're only $8.99, which I think is fabulous. I've paid a lot more than that for some pens, let me tell you. Um and yeah, it's 12 pens. I think it was 12, yeah, 12 pens, 12 different sizes. Um and as I said, we have a brush which I've used. I've also used the 005, the 10, the 0, 1, the 20, um, the 0, 2, and the 8, and then the 0, 3 in the brush. I've wrote it down on each section I've done, so I can remember what I did. Um, I might use slightly different sizes on these other ones. I don't know. I'll see what tape and fancy when I start drawing in a minute. So I'm going to switch the camera over, which hopefully I can do without stopping recording, but we will soon see, won't we? There we go. Right, I've got to move this up here. I had it down because the main camera, as you can see, it shows on the camera. But I put it back up now so you can see. So you can see what I've been testing on. And you can see that full coloured in with the brush. And though it shows through on the back, there's actually no real ink sludging through. Um, this is finished paper. It's just cheap sketch paper. Um, so it shows through, but some of my other pens, I don't know if I can show, see if I can find any on here a minute. I've got so many just random things over the years. Like, I mean, look how much that's came through, it really came through on that stuff. Um, and on there, they've really come through over the years. Whereas this one, it's just a slight shadowing, it's barely through at all as you can see. 
um, the light reflecting, but you know, it's hardly there at all. So I'm actually really impressed with them, um, which I wasn't expecting for eight ninety nine, but you know, that's pretty good. Uh, so I thought I'd show you. Um, my hands are still iffy and hurting a lot at the moment, so it might be that I have to do this in a few takes. We will see. But I'm just gonna draw four things, just random doodles. Um, so let's go. I think I might stick to drawing the same here. So this one here was done with the 005 <coughs> and then these little bits were coloured in with the 10. So I think we'll stick to the same there. So I've already penciled in as you can see uh, for two reasons. One, because my hands tend to do things. It's easier for me to follow lines um, and concentrate on where my hand's going if I've got them drawn in. And two, I wanted to show you how easy it is to erase the pencil marks without sm <coughs> without smearing anything which I was really surprised with I'm sorry can't have a conversation without my rimming puff going off it's so annoying so anyway I'm doing slightly different but same bases for each one so these ones are more the higgledy piggledy um, and random lines these are a bit more straighter except this one is random lines and that one was just completely higgledy piggledy um, so I'm just gonna draw down. Hopefully, you can see now. I can't draw a straight line even with a line there, I just can't do it. Never have been able to, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because the whole point of these is a doodle. Um, so you can just have fun with it. But the pens go across this paper really lovely. Now this is a reasonably rough paper, as I said it is a sketch pad, a very old sketch pad, I mean this thing's probably, I don't know, 20 years old or something, um, because they have multiple different sketch pads and it's just picked up random ones over the years so they've all got different amounts put in them and there are times when I haven't drawn for months on end so that pads last me ages. <laughs> But I'm just going to do some basic shapes and so no fantastic artwork. These are actually really good for um, delicate drawing. And if you look on the Amazon page that's linked below, you'll be able to see um, the sort of drawings you can do. Because they have such small pen lines, you can get some absolutely wonderful drawings. But as much as I love doing artwork, my hands don't cope so well with anything neat because I get random shakes and things so I don't tend to do a lot of delicate artwork anymore unless it's done on my um, drawing pad attached to my PC because then I can straighten the lines digitally but I'm just doing nice simple doing four lines total but one line will be coloured in. Just want you to see how well these pens work. So it's, and you can see they're not straight, but they don't need to be straight. This is just a bit of fun to show you how good these pens are. We'll use the eraser in a minute to um, take the pencil marks away and then you can see how lovely they are. Um, so I'll, I'll do some now before this all dries so you can see that it doesn't smudge at all. Do these top row here and then I will do the other ones when I do the colouring in part so you can see how it coats with the thicker pens. So you can see from that, not a single smudge at all. Um, and this is all about just having a bit of fun. This is why I like these sort of pens, because they're not artist quality pens. Um, <coughs> in the sense of, you know, hundreds of pounds and all that. I do have some artist quality pens that I 
do use once in a blue moon um, back when I used to do a lot of art but I don't do so much nowadays as I said but I'm hoping to get back into doing this sort of doodle things just on my channel just I won't be chatting over all of them some of them would just be the um sound of the pen or something um or maybe if I find some music to go with it maybe but I don't tend to put a lot of music with my videos okay so let's grab the 10 they all have numbers across the top here as well I don't know if you could see that there we go hopefully you can see that so even you've got them here and here so you can put them back in the right place and keep them in order which I really love because I'm terrible at remembering what order my stuff should go in so this is the 10 you can see it's more of a small felt tip type nib see that I never did show you what the 05 was did I show you that see it's an absolute tiny one I'm really hoping the lines that keep coming up on my camera, on my screen, aren't on the actual recording. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, I don't know why my camera's doing that. Maybe if I deal with the light, turn it off a bit, see if that makes a difference. I think that helped. But anyway, so this is the 10, which colours in nicely. If I do. A few down here where I haven't rubbed out the ink, uh, rubbed out the pencil. Do this line here, and then I can see. So we've done those ones, and then I take my eraser over it straight away. You see, not a single smudge there. How good is that? Um, all the other pens I've used, I've had to wait to dry before I could do it because they just smudge so badly, where these ones don't. <coughs> I don't know if you can get these anywhere other than Amazon. Um, I don't know if they have their own website. They haven't mentioned it. They've only gave me links to their Amazon listings, so I'm thinking it's probably in that. Um, which I know some people don't like using Amazon because um, they're not exactly the best company <laughs> but at the end of the day some of us don't have a choice because it's the only place we can get the things we need I tried doing no Amazon for a while it didn't go well I didn't have half the stuff I needed in my local shops But these are really nice to use. They feel comfortable, even though my hands always hurt. These aren't too thin that it's difficult to grip. Um, and I need barely any pressure for them to colour. It's very gentle pressure. There. So here's that one done. Which... It's pretty, but I still prefer the wonky one because it's just it's more crazy like me. This is very neat. Uh, maybe I should have done some extra lines and made the lines smaller, but I need to, did, to have something quick for doing the videos, so I did less lines on this one than I did up there. I've done the same here. <coughs> yeah. Um, but So that was the 05 and the 10, which, as you see, worked really lovely. So this one I use the zero one and the twenty, so I'll do the same again. So, so this is the one, hopefully. It's a problem because it's all reflective. Um don't know if I can get it to focus. Up the right way would be useful. I don't think it's gonna focus, but trust me it says zero one on it. <laughs> <clears throat> and again it is a tiny tiny nib um, and again excuse wobbly lines 
although I have the pencil markings, it's still very hard for me to draw straight lines. But that's not because of my hands. It's got worse over the years, my inability to draw straight lines. But I've never had the ability to draw straight lines. Which is why I like working with wavy things more, because they they don't notice so much when you don't go straight. But again, you need barely any pressure to do this. They just slide across the paper. And this is quite a textured paper because of being sketch. Um, and yet this slides across it absolutely lovely. I will at some point um, give an update once I've tested other paper because I'm going to test these with colours and watercolours and things as well um, to see how they work with gel pens, watercolours, uh, pastels, whatever I can think of doing because I have a whole bunch of art supplies. Um, a lot of it you can probably see behind me now so I've got a new layout. Um, Sorry if you heard that noise, it's just emails coming through. It's typical, I've had no emails come through all day and now they start coming through. If anyone knows any tips and tricks for drawing straight lines, please do let me know. I'd love to be able to draw straight lines, but it's just really hard to me. talking much because I actually don't know what else to say about them when I'm drawing them. Um, they're just really nice to use. And as I said there will be a discount code in the description for these so that you can test them out on a cheaper rate yourself. I think it takes it down to £7 odd um, which isn't bad at all to be fair. Um, for a set of 12 pens it's a really good price. Um, and said I did get these for free but my opinion as always is my opinion they don't tell me what to say or they give me absolutely no rules I can literally say what I want and give the truth about the pens um, and as you know there has been products that I've disliked and I've said about that um, but this I find these have just been so very good excuse me a minute all right so now i'm going to color them in which i used the 20 before so i'm going to use that again so again we can try but i don't think it's going to ah there we go that one did focus so the 20 and you can put them on the ends there which is useful but so this is a wedge style I don't often get on with wedge style ones um, but for colouring in things like this the wedge works really well because we can just go like that straight across I think the way I hold pens is always at a slight angle so one side always hits more than the other um, which is why I struggle with wedge pens um, and angled wedge pens I struggle with even more ironically <laughs> um, but this just colours in so quickly and neatly and again look there's no smudge there's tiniest little bit of ink come off my finger then and that is barely anything um, and that was me really rubbing it down to try to make it smudge. As you probably saw the paper shift just slightly when I did it. I 
So I really like how these wedge ones work. You can go faster with them, but again, I have trouble keeping straight lines and I find going slower helps with that. Again, you can go either way and you can use them either way so you can get thin lines or thick lines, it's up to you. These aren't going to be super neat, as I said, this is just my practice pad to test things out. Uh, normally I turn my pad to work with the angles that I need to, but it's a bit harder to turn the pad when I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. So, this is probably going to be a longish video because I'm going to try not to speed it up so that you guys can actually see how these pens work in real time. And how fast they dry. And if I bring my mic down lower, whether you'll be able to hear the pens. Let's turn up the mic thing. I'm going to take a quick break a second, I'll be back. Alright, back in. So, I've tried to turn off the autofocus, I noticed it's flickering again. Don't know if that's going to help, but we will see.
Yeah, so that was the number 20. They also have the number down on there because I don't think I actually showed you that. <laughs> but, yeah, as you can see, they're really lovely and it just doesn't smudge. It's really good. Um, I forgot how I've done with my pencil. I know. I'll shade that in later. I just put my pencil somewhere and I can't see. I have my blending thing, but I don't know what I've done with the pencil. That's good of me. About normal for me, isn't it? Um, so let's move on to the next one. So on this one I used the um, two. So we'll use the two again. So. Right at focus. No. Again, it's a small, small nib. So if you can hear my chair squeak every time I move. It's a very squeaky chair. <laughs> so this one's just a really fun doodle. I know nowadays they have, was it Zentangle, is it they're called nowadays? But when I was a kid they were just doodles and that's what I referred to them as. I have hundreds of books from when I was a kid just drawing doodles. I love doing this one. The one above was done with triangles instead of rectangles. Um, but it always gives such an effective look just by drawing some mostly straight lines you don't have to start in the same position and go the same direction which I didn't on the triangles and you can get some really funky looks that way but for this one I'm just going to start in the same way and go the same direction hopefully Sometimes I forget what, I do, what I'm doing and I go the wrong direction. <laughs> My memory is not so good nowadays. But at the moment you can see it just looks like individuals but they join up together really nicely. It becomes this kind of weird thing where your eyes are trying to work out where the lines are. And sometimes I mess up the middles, but I don't think it really matters. And so it's all about fun. What I might do is draw the next two rows the opposite way around and you can see how it changes.
sometimes if you think you've done too big a gap, just draw a natural line. Nobody knows, nobody cares. <laughs> so let's go this way this time. I told you I often change around. I do that, I get part way through something and change my mind. That's the fun with doodles, you can and it don't matter because they're yours. Nobody can tell you if you're doing it right or wrong because it's all right for you. I'm going to go this way this time. You can see by the way you intentionally change your direction, the sort of fan looks you can create, which is really fun. So you can have twisted looks or fan looks, and it's really cool. Um, this way. Let's try. So that's the two, and I'm gonna go over some parts with the eight and the zero eight, which has this size nib, so slightly bigger. You kind of want to trace those joining lines in around where the curves are, and highlight the curves. And then I always colour in the centre as well, kind of make it look like it's going deeper down. Which is why I'm never bothered if I mess up the middle, because once I've done this, you can't tell I messed up the middle. And 
and I think the A just sits nicely over all these lines. Did that one a bit too wide there, which didn't allow for the quite the smooth line that would light, but again, as I said, this is purely about fun, so it doesn't matter. See how effective it starts coming together. And so the eight just really brings those lines and really makes them pop. Um, six might work, but I find slightly thicker always just really highlights those lines better. Um, but too thick, like the ten that I used on that one, would have gave too thick a line, so it would have looked really, really odd I think but it's a personal preference as I said this is just fun drawing however you like that one I got off centre but it doesn't matter You see how changing it goes from spiralling down to shell and it just makes it really funky I think. But these pens just work so nicely and I'm just really happy with them. I'm definitely going to have to get some more. So let's draw these lines with a three. Just give my hand a little shake out because it's home. See the correct thing as my pain clinic told me is I should stop now and take a break. But I'm on the last one, so it just makes more sense to get it done, doesn't it? Um, so, we will push through. I didn't show you the nib on this one, did I? So, there you go. You see, it's a bit focused. <laughs> so this is this zero three anyway. 
And I said, this one's more of a meandering one than the nice straight lines of these ones at all. <laughs> Set me straight lines. I don't follow my pencil lines exactly. Um, they're just there for a rough guide on where I want to go. Oops, you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter because the whole point is to draw however you like. Something about pencil lines. I am so sorry about my squeaky chair. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. If it's really bad on the film, I'll attempt to edit the sound to take it out, but we'll have to wait and see if I can. So if you don't hear anything, I was able to take it out. Right, so now we're just going to draw a bunch of bubbles. Or circles or oblong or something. As you can probably tell from that one, I'm not very good at drawing um, circles either. So, I just draw a bunch in. It doesn't matter if you don't reach the edge on these things because you're going to colour it in anyway so no one's going to notice. Now I'm not actually teaching you how to do any of these but just to show you it doesn't really matter as long as you're having fun. That's all that matters really. But I just thought this would be a good way to show you how good these pens are and show you the different sizes how that one's quite really thin and delicate and this one's slightly thicker but you can still get some really pretty lines it gives you ones for one you want delicate or ones you're just going to colour in um, where you don't need quite so tiny little lines <laughs> gotta start taping it down i keep missing the edge there. It doesn't matter. See, ideally, you could have had these lines cross a bit more, like these ones do, to get more funkier look, but it doesn't matter. Because we're going to fit it all in anyway. And some people colour as they go and they use the thinner pens to do the colouring as well, but I don't see the point in that when I have perfectly good thicker pens that will do the colouring quicker and leave less lines. So I'm going to use the brush pen on this, which I will show you when I get to the end.
I think I can get to the end of this before my hand seizes up. But it's not liking me right now. So I might have to just um, do some colouring in a minute. Colouring those bits. Maybe if I can do some up here to show you what I'm going to do. And then I'll finish the rest off camera and just show you it at the end. I don't know. I may just take a 10 minute break, give my hand a rest. Yeah. I'll be back in a minute, I'm just going to give my hand a little rest. Uh, let's see if we can carry on. I haven't had a long break, my hand still hurts, but hopefully it's enough just to get to the end of this. I did use my left hand to do some shading on there, but it's not great. It's the wrong type of pencil. I only have a HB on me, and for shading, you really should be using um, more darker ones, uh, softer ones, which I do have. I just don't have any on me. Um, they'll be behind me in my artist section. I know this probably looks quite weird at the moment, just random O's all over it. So I promise once it's coloured in it looks quite funky. I wasn't recording, I just switched hands to continue, but my left hand, though I can do it, is, it's not as neat. <laughs> um, so I don't want to waste the paper and things by messing it up. said normally I draw my turn my pad at this point because I'd use that section the rest of my hand on instead of having it drop off the edge but I try very hard not to turn it for you because I know when I used to draw and I turned things or when I've done other tutorials for other stuff and I've turned it to make it easier for me people have complained because they don't like me turning it they want it solid non-moving <laughs> so trying very hard not to turn it right now. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, as I said, I'm trying very hard to do it without speeding up for you guys. So you can just see how fast this dries without a thing of it. Without any artificial speeding up time lapse stuff. Let's see. Drawing along the edges, not my strong point. <laughs> You could always watch this part of the video on times two. I 
Hopefully you can't hear the children having a good time out there screaming. Very silent in the house today. Duncan and Mally have gone off to a Japanese car thing at Castle Coombe. I think it's Castle Coombe. Somewhere. <laughs> um, Kurt's gone off to London if he's a friend. And Reese is actually driving my twin sister and one of my brothers to the airport because they're going on holiday. So it's just me all on my lonesome. Which is why I thought it would be a good time to record this video because there should be no interruptions. Because I don't believe anyone's having any deliveries done today either. And if you've been watching my um, shorts, you'll know that I've been doing heat press um, bags, totes and mugs. And so today I'm trying not to do anything that's too hot because it's just the wrong time of year to be doing it. And because I'm stupid, I picked the day of the heat wave to do them. But I couldn't do this yesterday because Duncan was working. So I can't record non-stop when he's working. I have to start and stop for when he goes on calls. Um, which might do my hand better, but it takes away my flow. And then I kind of run out of energy to do things. Which is why we don't have many videos from me at the moment. Just drop the odd small one in these places. So I'm going to grab the brush and we are going to colour it in with the brush which can we get it to, how did I get it to focus last time? Is it going to? It does say BR on it anyway, BR for brush. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. Which is really pretty. And because it comes to a fine point, even these tiny bits I can get into, um, which is really good. So I don't have to change what pen I'm using to colour. I can still colour in the tiny bits while colouring in the thicker bits still quickly or with one pen. I do like my brush markers and pens. I have um, watercolour brush ones as well from Arteza and I do love them. You see how easy that just colours in and again you barely have to touch the paper there's just the ink flows so lovely with these. in you would get neater colouring in if you didn't have shaky hands like me they do really colour really quite beautiful You probably can't actually hear 
um, I have to touch this so gently to the paper and still get such full coverage it barely makes the sound. See how gorgeous this colouring, so smooth and so quick on the bigger sections. Again, if you had a less shaky hand, you'd be able to colour in a lot faster than I do. But I have to keep such control on my hand, otherwise it will go all over the place. <laughs> And again, this brush does not smudge or anything either. Um, so when I coloured that bit, I had my hand on it loads of times and there was, there was no markings. Um, so it really does do well. I think I'm going to colour the rest of this off camera because um, I think you've seen enough now and then I'll come back to you and give you my final verdicts and all. Okay, so that's the brush work done. Um, I wanted to turn the pad to ease the pain on my hand and I know people don't like that so um, I've done it off camera but you can see it's coming along and as you see the pen has no, um, the brush has no problem going around with all the small pieces. Um, might have lost the odd small bubble here and there, but that was more the fact that my eyes weren't blurring. I couldn't see, <laughs> which again is something that happens when I concentrate on something for too long. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I think they work really lovely. And see, there's barely any. You can just, you can see it, but it's not through. So if I was doing other dark work on the other side, I could totally do, it and it wouldn't be ruined. So as I said, it was there's twelve pens, and I really love them and hopefully you will. Let's switch back to the other camera. Um, there we go. Let's move that down. Hopefully, I haven't just deafened you because I forgot to turn that down as well. Um, get that there. Hopefully that's right. If the sound's gone a bit skew if, sorry. But yeah, so two hands and they're really, really lovely pens and I will have the link and the code to get a discount down in the description. I don't know how long the code's going to work for, so I say no matter when you're watching this, try it, see if it works. Because <laughs> they didn't give me a timeline on it, so I guess they're not too fussed how long it's there for. Um, but expect to see these pens on the channel more often, it's probably in shorts, um, because I will be using these to do a bunch of my doodles, because I really enjoyed that. Um, 
but if I do them like one small picture at a time instead of all these pictures my hand will hurt so much which is why they'll probably be shorts um, and then if somebody sees something they want a longer form video for then I can always do that after but um, we'll see how it goes but yeah totally recommend them as I said they are now are on Amazon um, and they're just and if you I think if you just search two hands black pigment liner set you'd probably find them but I will have the link down um, below so you can click through and see I haven't put the link um, the, the code up on the screen this time because I've been burnt before when I put it up on the screen for people to see then the company's changed the code or something and then that's messed it up so now all of it will go down in the description box and that's easier for me to edit <laughs> so i will see you all soon anyway you take care and i hope you've enjoyed these pens bye bye